Good morning, everybody. This is Steve Fletcher with The Trumpet for My People. Today is September 22nd, 2023. After I did my video yesterday, everybody was asking me in the comments section if I didn't see what was the most obvious thing in this entire picture. And I had not noticed this and until it was brought to my attention through a comment, through many comments, many people were commenting about this. That on October 14th, the eclipse forms a diamond ring on the finger of Virgo. I shared with you about Comet Nishimura coming through Virgo and going right into the tail of Hydra. Hydra represents a beast with many heads and horns. And Revelation 12, the second sign of Revelation 12, talks about the tail of the dragon casting out a third of the stars. And it's a beast with many heads and horns. And the hydra is exactly that. I studied that yesterday, and you can investigate the meaning of hydra. It's a beast from the sea with many head, heads and many horns. But... The wedding ring eclipse. Now, let's talk about this. Okay. The virgin birth. We have a woman in the heavens giving birth to a child. This is Virgo. Okay. So this is representative of the Virgin Mary. The virgin. The virgin birth. Okay. So what happened with Jesus and, and uh, Mary and Joseph? Joseph was married to Mary during her pregnancy, but he did not know her until after the baby was born, right? And so if we have a birth in the heavens... And then we have the sign of the dragon. Well, if it goes according to the wedding of Joseph and Mary, it happened after the birth of the baby. The wedding may have happened before the birth, but the consummation of the wedding did not happen until after Jesus was born. Jesus was born, and then he was circumcised, and then there was a 33-day period of, of, uh, of purification. According to Leviticus chapter 12, Leviticus chapter 12 gives us the purification rites. It was even said of Jesus in the Gospels that according to the law, Jesus was presented 40 days after his birth, and he was circumcised on the eighth day, according to the law. Okay. So here we have, after the birth event, The wedding ring on the hand of Virgo. The wedding ring eclipse, October 14th. Okay. Thank you so much to those who saw this. I went and did a search in YouTube to see if anybody else had been talking about this. And I only saw one video by Stand for Christ. 
I have not seen this video, but here it is. The eclipse occurs on Virgo's left hand, the hand holding the, fir the fruit of her labors. This is the first new moon after... Yeah, and so she was expecting, she was expecting the rapture to happen with the birth process on the Feast of Trumpets also. And so, but this is the wedding ring. And so I, this is one video I saw. I don't know if anybody else has done anything on this. But if we go into my video here, let's look at a couple of the comments. Here's my video from yesterday, The Great Mayan Eclipse and Bible Prophecy. Steve Fletcher, the trumpet for my people. And as we talked about this. Okay, this came up and then this is this is what I'm showing yesterday in my video. And then there were comments that came. From my video, one one uh, comment says the eclipse will be over Corpus Christi at 12 o'clock noon Central Standard Time. Corpus Christi at exactly noon. The sun will go dark at noon over Corpus Christi. Wow, that's very, very amazing. Uh, another comment I heard, I think someone said that this con this uh, eclipse will go over Rio <clears throat> de Janeiro, over the Christ statue, statue of Rio de Janeiro. So there's definitely more to see with this. We need to continue investigating this. This is a comment here. Am I the only one seeing a wedding, a wedding ring on her finger? The solar eclipse makes a perfect wedding ring on Virgo's hand. It even looks like it's on the correct finger. The bride will be home in time for the wedding. Well, this could be the day. This could be the very day of the wedding. It could be the day of the consummation of the wedding. Okay. There's one other thing I wanted to say. Oh, yeah, with the... Uh, I had to cut out some of the things from my video yesterday. Um, and it, it seemed like it wasn't complete because um, I had made comments about the movie Apocalypto that I was going to share some clips. And then when I went to share the clips, my video got blocked for copyright issues. And so I had to redo the video and I wanted to get the video out and I didn't have time to, uh, to change my, my, my voice or some of the comments might seem weird. I shared, uh, three scenes from the, the movie I shared the girl, there's a girl that gives a prophecy about the coming destruction of the Mayans, the end of the Mayan civilization based on the, the total eclipse that was happening. Then uh, there was the scene of the eclipse and how everything shifted at the eclipse with the Mayan uh, civilization. And then I showed the boats arriving, uh, the Spanish boats arriving, which marked the end of the Mayan civilization as they were conquered by the Spanish. So you can find those clips if you look up uh, Apocalypto. If you want to look up Apocalypto clips, you can find all of that. But so here we are. The Great Mayan Eclipse and Bible Prophecy, October 14th, 2023. Is this the day of the wedding? Is this the day of the consummation? Okay. The whole story of the virgin birth, the consummation did not happen until after the birth. You understand? This is a biblical precedent with the birth of, uh, with the child born out of the virgin. Okay. This is Virgo. Child born out of the out of the virgin, the consummation did not happen until after the birth. So this could be absolute perfection. 
This could be the day of the consummation. This could be the day of the wedding. This could be a sign of the wedding that's going to happen a few days later. I don't know. This is a sign, and this is could be the sign, and it's right on the finger of Virgo. Now this is perfection. I pray you are blessed. This is Steve Fletcher with a trumpet for my people, the sign of his coming revealed.